what was it like developing the uh, relationship with Nick Offerman uh, as your father for the series? He's so generous. He's so kind. He's he's so loving as well. And it was just super easy to kind of fall into that. And funny enough, there is there's family photos, actually. Uh, excited to talk about this show. I was blown away by what I've seen so far. Uh, and I'm excited to see how it all closes out. What about it, though, really drew you to want to be a part of the project? Yeah, I mean, well, first and foremost, the team that they uh, had brought together. I mean, Andy Ciara with like Palm Springs and then Ben Sinclair with High Maintenance and then Sam Esmail, Chad Hamilton with Mr. Robot. Like uh, just, you know, separately, those are people that I want to work with. And then together, it's just like this, you know, mind blowing concoction of of great minds um and then yeah and then i and then you know the script itself it's so bizarre and time loopy and crazy and and sad everything and then within that violet uh really really uh you know drew me in we're very similar and we have scary similar stuff going on in our lives with like dealing with loss and everything. So that was that really, really um, that was like kind of the cherry on top. So with that said, then, what would you say were some of your biggest creative challenges getting to the heart of Violet with those similarities? Yeah, I mean, I think I think so. So, you know, Violet's dealing with grief. and She's just lost her mother. And I had, you know, less than a year ago, had lost my father. And I think just kind of grieving through Violet uh, at times was really hard, but also really, really, I was like very lucky to actually have this character to uh, go through it with. And we dealt with it in different ways. And it gave me empathy for how other people deal with grief and how I'm dealing with my own grief. Um, that, yeah. And I think I think also there, were, there would be moments in the show where, or you know, you're, you're seeing a flashback to when Violet loses her mom and just kind of trusting myself that I, that I know how that goes and not trying to push and not trying to, um, create something. Uh, cause, cause I, I knew like it, it was already living in me and I didn't have to, um, you know, over, overdo anything. And I think that that was hard. A hard lesson because sometimes it's hard to just be you when you're playing a character because you don't want it to be so similar but sometimes that's that's what it is and that's what it calls for well i'm glad you got that opportunity to then uh experience that through violet um and then speaking of your personal experience then uh what was it like developing the uh relationship with nick offerman uh as your father for the series absolutely incredible um like really it, he he had signed on um, when we had already started shooting, so I had like been hearing in the background like, "Oh, Nick might be cast," and I was like, "Okay," like trying not to get my hopes up. And when it was like he like what he's so generous, he's so kind, he's he's so loving as well, and it was just super easy to kind of fall into that. And funny enough, there is there's family photos actually in. Um, in a flashback scene and my mom happened to be visiting uh puerto rico and we got her in to take the family photos with us so like my mom actually is my mom in the show technically through images so she was stoked to uh kind of have like nick's like bear hug around her and we're like all you know together so that was really really fun and, and crazy yeah I love when little details like that get in projects. It's such a fun uh, thing to see and learn about. Yeah. Um, and your story, of course, also can't be told without talking about Skylar's role as well. What was it like developing that chemistry with him off camera before bringing it into each scene? Um, we we were really lucky because the scenes were shot in order uh, for the most part, in the beginning at least. And we had met actually on set. Um, 
the first day of shooting, I'd never really, we hadn't really talked. And I think we kind of did that on purpose because Sam and Violet are also meeting each other. And the first scene we did shoot was the head wound scene. So it's already really awkward and like we're in person, each other's personal space, but we don't know each other. And um, we don't know the, like us, Nina and Skylar, we don't know the crew yet. We're like all trying to figure everything out. And I think that worked perfectly for um, the, our first couple of scenes because we were figuring out our dynamics as Sam and Violet were figuring out their dynamics. And then luckily, Skylar and I, right off the bat, already had really great banter and were able to kind of, you know, develop that in our lives, which really helped on screen. Well, I loved seeing that dynamic uh, progress over the four episodes. I can't wait to see what the final few episodes have in store for us. So Nina, thank you so much for taking the time to chat.